In this video, I tried different budget wizard builds, and these were the best ones. I streamed all of these builds on Twitch, so if you ever want to learn how to play solo wizard, go follow the stream. I tried three different budget wizard builds. The first one is hybrid wizard, the second 5 spell, and the third 10 spell. So first let's talk about hybrid wizard build. Probably one of the best wizard builds to play right now created by CNG blade. This build is pretty good all around and I would highly suggest using this build. So let's buy a budget kit for this. For this build we want to go with a lot of HP so we'll go with a leather cap with true damage we could either go for a green or a blue depending on your price so we can go for this leather cap for 123 gold for the chest piece i like to go mystic vestments with knowledge so we got a purple one here with one knowledge we got a green or a blue so i'll probably go with the purple one right here if you wanted something a little bit cheaper we can go adventure tunic and you could buy adventure tunic but we'll miss out on some magic damage from the mystic vestments so you can either go for more health or more damage but we'll go with the mystic vestments next we want to go for leather chosses for more knowledge on this one i like to go health so either max health or we can go max health bonus max health there's one 200 for three or we can go max health bonus look for an even cheaper one you can see this one's about 100 gold cheaper so we can buy any one of these we'll just go with this blue one for 100 gold now for the gloves i want to go with reinforced gloves and for this one we'll go with knowledge and we can go for these blue ones that are very cheap for 75 we'll go with that if you do want to go for a cape, I would recommend going for a vigilant cape with true damage and just buying the cheapest one. We'll go with this vigilant cape. For the jewelry, I went with a blue phoenix choker. I try to see what the uh, lowest price is for a spell casting speed one. It's a little bit more expensive now, so we could just look through these and we could try to find a phoenix choker that we like. This one's not too bad. It's action speed and max health bonus for 150 so we'll pick that up now we can go for the rings and we could just buy the cheapest rings we could try to see if we can get the best rings possible which are vitality rings let's see if we can find any you can see here there's a ring of vitality for almost 200 gold we can go for that if we wanted to but since we're on a budget and we can save uh, about 50 to 60 gold on these rings so we could just go for a ring of quickness it already sold never mind we'll just go for a ring of finesse maybe for a little bit of action speed and then a ring of courage just for another strength we can look for a spell book with magical power on it. And then we can find a blue one with three magical power right here, 150. We'll buy that. Buy a magic staff with three magical power. If you want to spend a little more, we can go with a purple magic staff that's going to help you clear mobs faster. But it is a budget build. We'll just go with the blue one. For the boots, I always go with a movement stat on them. Of course, additional move speed is going to be the most expensive move speed bonus is going to be the second most expensive and agility not a very good stat but it is going to be the cheapest so we'll just go with these two agility ones for 200 so with this build we have 115 hp we're sitting around 61 percent spell casting speed we're at 299 move speed and our magic power bonus is at I think around 35% with the spell book out. This build is probably the most safe and the easiest build to play. So I'd highly try this build out first. For the perks I would use with this build, we're going to go Arcane Mastery, Sage, Spell Overload, and Staff Mastery. For the skill, we're going to want to use Arcane Shield. And here are the spells. And don't forget to get enough memory capacity so we can use all these spells. We can always find a new spell book with additional memory capacity and then we'll be able to cast Ignite. But that's pretty much the entire build. If you enjoy more of a caster wizard, then 5 spell wizard is your best bet. I made a video recently about the best 5 spell wizard build. And I'm going to try to make a budget build of that. Instead of a leather cap, I'm going to go a wizard hat because there's less of a movement speed penalty. So we'll look for a wizard hat. We'll just buy this wizard hat for 89 gold. Next, I go for an adventure tunic just for more HP. And I look for any with knowledge. I try to look for one with two. Usually there's one with two that is pretty cheap, but right now it's 200 gold. We'll just go with this one. It gives us knowledge and additional memory capacity. So we don't have to worry about those spells. We'll just buy this one. Now for the pants, we'll go with leather chosses. And again, I either go for max health 
or max health bonus depending on the price we'll go with this 1.9 percent max health bonus for 170 gold now for the boots since we are playing caster wizard i prefer more movement speed so we're gonna go light foot boots and i try to go for a movement speed stat on these just like with the occultist boots they're gonna be pretty expensive so these ones with additional move speed go for around 400 if we go look for a move speed bonus they're gonna be 279 so we go to agility and they're a lot cheaper another 139 so we can go for that if you want a little bit more spell casting speed i also sometimes go for two knowledge if my spell casting is a little low but we'll go with the one with agility so we'll get these for 130 for the gloves i go with rawhide gloves for more knowledge i look for max health and i try to look for one with three this one is 129 i'll pick these up now same thing as before with the jewelry i'll try to look for a blue phoenix choker with spell casting and for the rings we can really pick any ring we want like this ring of resolve because there's a little bit extra damage we can try to look for vitality we can look for quickness um just kind of pick whatever you'd like now for the cloak we can go a couple options here we can go with the vigilant cloak again for extra health or but i went for a little more damage so i went for a splendid cloak but sometimes these cloaks are expensive last time i checked they were at 300 right now they're at 220 so if that ever happens we can go for a watchman cloak we can go with true damage and magical power and right now the watchman cloaks are actually more expensive but if the splendid cloaks are ever 300 or more i look through and i would get a watchman cloak with one true magic and two magical power because two magical power is the same as two will just the heads up to get a little bit cheaper uh damage cloak and the same thing for the spell book we also want to look for a three magical power spell book if you need a little more memory capacity also look for a memory capacity with it and since we're not running staff mastery i went with a crystal sword crystal swords are really cheap because they're not very good you could buy a epic one for 200 but if you really want to stick with your budget then you could just buy these ones for 70 gold and that pretty much completes our build we're at 108 health we're at 306 move speed 55% spell casting and we're at 35% magic power and that that looks pretty good for the perks with this build I went arcane mastery sage spell overload and for the fourth perk you can kind of pick and choose what you want depending on uh, what classes you come across a lot so I went with mana surge because I was getting a variety of classes but if you were going more against warlocks and clerics you can go fire mastery if you see a lot of rogues or maybe barbarians, you might go ice shield. You can kind of pick and choose what you like. And of course, for the skill, we're going intense focus. And here are the spells. If you like caster wizard more, I would highly recommend trying this build out. For 10 spell wizard, we're losing a lot of damage because we're not running intense focus. And we're not very good all around like hybrid wizard is. This is the final build I ended up with. It's similar to five spell wizard. We're just focusing more on movement speed. Instead of leather chosses, we got loose trousers. And for the rawhide gloves, I try to get agility on them. And instead of a phoenix choker, I actually opted in for a purple fox pendant with one true magic damage. Right now, fox pendants around 250 gold. But I chose not to wear a chest piece, so we're a little bit faster. So that money we're saving from the chest piece, we can invest a little bit more into the fox pendant this build's going to be a lot more glass cannon but we have a ton of movement speed to make up for it we're at 317 for the rest of the stats we're at 96 health we're at 52 casting speed and we're at 41 percent magic power bonus without the book for the perks i went with arcane mastery sage quick chant and fire mastery we can always switch out fire mastery for something else and then here are the 10 spells that i ran I would highly recommend going with the first two builds that I showed you, but if you do want to play 10 Spell Wizard, I had some success using this build. If you guys enjoyed these builds, let me know. If you guys have any better builds, also let me know down in the comments below. And for the rest of the video, I'll have some gameplay of each of these builds, and I can tell you that I went against some pretty geared people with these builds, and I was still able to beat them. Okay. 
So he's intense focus wizard. he wastes the better yeah, he popped the text focus come up or did we come up everyone oh 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 yep, i'm slurping it all up you can easily outplay oh 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 hold on hold on a second how did that not kill him can we talk about that that killed him I would come around the corner right there, yeah. He's drinking a potion, so let me get some space right here. Can we talk about how this man just accidentally missed the jump and then I missed the zap because of it? That was quite rude. How did that zap miss? Wow. Oh, what the heck? Okay, no, he was actually geared. All right, I I lied. I'm sorry. Oh my god! Finally, finally. Okay, is that gold? He's got a gold curious on. Oh, wow! Wow! Okay, was not expecting any of this. I have to watch out for this corner. Yep, there we go. I think he's gonna run away. I still hear him. Yeah, he's low. Okay. Can't let him run. Make sure he's not. Okay. Got up. Okay. He's backing off. Okay, I heard another wizard. Oh. Oh, God, if I didn't hit that fireball on him from earlier, I would have died, hands down. Oh, how fun is that? There's another guy. Oh, oh, it's the raid boss. Oh. Honestly, thought I had more fireballs. Please, please, please. Why is that door open? Why would he go? Please, the raid boss. Oh. 
Oh, finally, Jesus, please hurry up. This is no time to take your time. Ooh, get out of here, you stupid kid. Ooh, ooh. Gross, gross. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, okay, he went in viz. No, he was. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. We'll kill this rogue. We got gypped. I know. Bad things are happening. Oh, he didn't juke? Leave it to the... Uh... Oh! Oh! He just basically killed himself. Yeah, I mean, what did you expect? Please, please. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. No, don't go for me. What is this? There we go. Alright. Okay. He dead. What is he? Fighter or Did he drop down? really bad. What? Oh. He must have opened it right as soon as I knocked him back, which is very unfortunate. Fine though. We still killed them though. What's going on over here? This guy's like dead, dead. Oh. Ooh, ooh, and that. Oh, oh. <laughs> He was not kidding about the Bisclector. 